Hello, it is Cheap Nails Happy News. Stay frugal with nail art. And in this video, I'm going to be revealing the Rossi Nails Dip Powder Trial Kit. Rossi Nails was so nice to send me this for my honest review. So in this video, we're going to unbox it, we're going to put it on our nails and see how it goes. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? So let's get started! To start off any good unboxing video, we're going to need something to open this package. So I got my brother's little scissors. I know what you think, and what are you talking about, Brenna? You always use your sister's bigger pink scissors. I lost them. So I got my brother's scissors. So let's go ahead and take this and cut open the tape. It's all taped up. Chill on. There we go. You just gotta break the seal. Oh, I got to the box. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I got the tape off of this is well packaged. Alright, we got the packaging off. Let's just open it. Is there any tape down here? No, there's no tape. I think you just open it like this. Alright. Oh. It's in bubble wrap. Let me get it out of there. Put stuff on the bottom. It's in bubble wrap. Oh, I like how it's packaged. It's packed very nicely. Okay, your Rossi Glam Powder Trial Kit. Glam your nails. One one powder included. Okay, this looks really cool. Can bubble wrap? What's down in the box? In the box it says six easy steps on how to apply your Rossi Glam Powder. Oh, it's directions. They give you directions. That's awesome. On the back of the directions, they give you directions on how to remove the dip powder. Isn't that great? And here's what the box looks like. All right, let's go ahead and open this. Okay, we got a little tape here. I need that little scissor back. Where'd it go? Where'd the little scissor go? And also in the box is this little card that says you get $10 off your next order at Rossi Nails. Okay, now let's get on to opening this package, this box. Let's go ahead and open it like this. There we go. Just gotta cut that off. I'm gonna open it. Ooh, let me get in here. Okay, looks like we got some kind of like cloth. We have the dip powder. And then we also have the essential starting kit. And that's all that's in the box. All right, let's open the essential starting kit. All righty. Let's open it. Okay, it has three bottles in it. Let me take the three bottles down here. They're in there. Look how nicely they're packaged in there. Okay, that's nice. All righty. So we got the base coat that says number two. We got the activator that says number three. And then we got the uh, top coat, which says number four. Okay, that was everything in the box, so let's go ahead and take our dip powder essentials and do a dip manicure. Let's go do it. Let's start with the directions. Okay, it tells you to sanitize your hands, prep your nails, and push back the cuticles and remove the shine with a file or buffer. Okay, I really like how they add this step because prepping your nails is so important. Okay, I've already used some hand sanitizer on my hands, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to pushing back my cuticles. So I'm going to use this cuticle remover from the Blue Cross. I really like this uh, cuticle remover. It works very well for me. I'm going to go ahead and put one dot or one kind of blop on my nails towards the cuticles. And then I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and I'm just going to go ahead and just gently push back my cuticles. You definitely want to be gentle with this process because, you know, you just want to be gentle with your skin. Even though it's called cuticle remover, you don't actually remove your cuticle. It just softens your cuticle cool so you can push it back. The cuticle remover helps you to remove the dead skin that is on your nails. Okay moving on to the buffing part they tell you to buff your nails and this is how I buff my nails. I'll take the second ridges side and I'm just gonna do an X motion three to four times on each of my nails and that is how I buff my nails with a buffing block. I have a whole video on that and you can click the card if you want to see it. After I'm all done I'm gonna take some vinegar and my cotton swab and I'm gonna rub that on my nail. Vinegar is a great cleaner for your nail and also works as a nail dehydrator. So after that is done, I'm going to take a lint-free cloth and I'm just going to dry my nails off of that vinegar. I love using vinegar, it's just a great cleaner. Okay. 
going back to the directions now. Okay, we prepped our nails, so we did that step. So let's move on to step one. It says, apply a thin coat of base coat, a hairline away from your cuticles on all your nails. Okay, I'm gonna just start by doing this method on one of my nails, and then I'll quickly dip it in. It says right here, quickly dip into powder. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the powder. So this is the powder I got. I really like the packaging. I think it's really cute. So let's go ahead and open it. Sometimes I cannot get these tops open, so I just kind of take my cuticle, my wooden cuticle stick, and I kind of just pop it open and it opens. Okay, let's look at this color. I really like how everything in this box set is white because I really like white tops and white bottles. Okay, it looks like a very, very, very light pink. The name of the dip powder is on the bottom, and this one is 001 Honeymoon. I am so excited to see what it looks like, so let's go ahead and unscrew the top and open it up. This dip powder has a really nice protective seal on it, which I really like because can you imagine if this seal wasn't there, that powder would get everywhere. So I love that there's a seal on the powder, and look at that beautiful blush pink. It's so pretty. On top of the box, they show the color, and it's kind of a pinkish orange, but when I'm looking at this one, Right now it looks more like a blush orange, so I don't really understand that. Okay, now that we got our powder ready, let's go ahead and take the base coat, and this is what the Rossi base coat looks like, and I really like the bottle, I really like the purple, I think it's very pretty. And also this isn't included, but I know that you're gonna need something to dust away the excess powder, so I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild Dollar eyeshadow brush, um, because I think that it it, it matches the set, doesn't it? It just perfectly matches this Rossi kit. I don't know why, it just, it does, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play my base cut and I'm not gonna go all the way up to the cuticle, just like they said, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and make sure I don't get any on my skin, because wherever this goes, that powder's gonna stick, so I don't want it sticking to my skin. And so right after I paint that base coat on, I'm gonna dip it in right away, because I know that that base coat dries really fast, so I wanna make sure I get it in into the powder and the base coat does kind of have a strong smell to it I want to say just as absolutely horrible but I think um, it definitely has a little bit of a strong smell kind of like glue but uh, I didn't mind it as long as I didn't hold it up like really close to my nose I was just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and tap it with the end of my brush then I waited two minutes because they tell you to wait probably because you can't dust away the excess powder because the glue is still drying but as long as you wait two minutes usually the glue is fully dry and you can just brush away the excess and I really like how this turned out this powder is very fine it's not clumpy at all so I'm gonna go in with my second coat of base coat now and right after I paint that in I dip them right in at a 40 degree angle because you need to do it quick because that base coat will dry pretty quick so I went ahead and dumped it in and then I just go ahead and take it out and then I tap make sure I always tap the back of my finger just to get the excess off and then I wait two minutes because I want to make sure that it's all sticking to the base coat and after it waits two minutes I'm gonna dust it off thoroughly again and after two coats of this I definitely think that I need a third one so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the base coat again because I want to get this fully opaque and I gotta say uh, dipping your nails it's a fun process it's a fun thing to do just kind of paint on base coat and then dip it in and you got color on your nails it's cool well so I'm just doing the same method as before I'm gonna take my nail out of the powder and then I'm gonna tap the back of my finger to get the excess off and then I'm gonna wait two minutes for that base coat to fully dry and then I'm gonna take my brush and just brush off the excess and it looks really good okay I don't think we gotta dip anymore I think it looks good so let's go back to the directions and step three was get the desired color you you wanted and I got the desired color so let's move on to step four which apply the activator and I wait approximately one minute so let's grab our activator and here it is it looks so cute I really like how it's a white bottle with like a pinkish reddish color to it I like that and look how the nail just kind of it just kind of sucks up the activator it's kind of funny so after we wait that one minute let's move on to step five which is shaping and buffing and smoothing smoothing <laughs> smoothing the nail then wash your hands and apply another coat of activator okay we can do that so I got these two files which are 180 grit and I'm gonna go ahead and just smooth smooth I can't say that word smooth and buff my nail because the nail is kind of thick 
after you apply the dip powder so I see why you gotta smooth it out and kind of you know just file it so after I file it I'm gonna go ahead and take one of their really nice lint free cloths they give you and also in this bag they give you four extra brushes which is a great I love it so let's take one of their lint free cloths because they also said to wash your hands so I wash my hands after I use my buffer and then I'm gonna take the lint free cloth and just wipe down my nails I really like how they added these because like I said I couldn't even find them okay step five is done so let's move on to step step six which is apply top coat with quick thin strokes let it dry two minutes and then repeat for ultimate gloss so let's go ahead and grab the top coat and I love how the top coat bottle is green I think that is a great idea it's like you're freshening up and finishing your nails. I really like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply it to our nails. I noticed that the top coat brush does get a little hard if it comes in contact with too much of the activator that is on your nails. So you do wanna be careful and just do more of a thick and quick uh, strokes when you're applying it but I got it to apply pretty well without it really getting very hard and also they give you extra brushes you know in that pack with the lint free cloths so if you do get a little bit of a hard brush you can just replace it which I really like how they gave you those four things this top coat is a very nice thick glossy top coat I really liked it all you have to do is remember thick and quick when you're applying it and you should be just fine after I applied that top coat they say to wait two minutes I waited four minutes and then I went ahead and applied the second coat of top coat because they suggest that you apply two coats of top coat so I went ahead and did that and I really like how these nails turned out I think they're so pink and beautiful I know on the top of the box it kind of looked like an oranges pink but I really like this blush pink I really like how it turned out I think my nails are beautiful and I feel like I just got out of like getting my nails done at the salon or something like I feel so fancy and I think the blush pink oh I just can't get over how pink light pink it is you know you guys know that I love light pink so I really enjoyed it and I think it's so pretty and glossy so that is my review of the Rossi Nails Glam Powder Trial Kit. All in all, I think it is a very good dip powder system. I really love how it comes with clear directions. The only thing is the top coat brush might get a little hard if it comes in with too much contact with the activator. And even if that happens in this kit, they give you four different brushes like I love that and also I love how they give you lint free wipes I couldn't find these anywhere in Walmart so I was like oh I guess I can't use them while well, they gave you some so I really like how they added this to this kit this kit is $34 and I will link down in the description box down below Rossi Nails is website if you want to check it out and please use my discount code shape nails to get 20% off your order and if you use my discount code, I get a little bit of commission with no additional cost to you. So that means you get 20% off, I get a little commission, we all win. And if you need any help applying dip powder, I noticed that Rossi has a very nice YouTube channel all about dip manis. The tips and tricks that they have on their YouTube channel really helped me learn the ins and outs of this system. So I highly recommend watching their videos. All in all, Rossi sent this to me for my free honest opinion. And I really enjoyed doing it because I think they came out fabulous. This was my first time applying dip powder and I gotta say, it was a great experience. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Friday.